we're delighted to have um, Dr. Alveda King with us, the director for African American Outreach of Priest for Life. This is a precious sister who knows firsthand and has seen her uncle was a martyr fighting for religious freedom. Many people don't realize the sacrifices and commitments her father made, facing constant attacks and threats, giving his own life for the cause of freedom and religious freedom. So when she speaks, she speaks from the crucible of personal experience of how important it is to stand for these founding principles of our nation. Let's give a warm welcome to Dr. Alveda King. Thank you, everyone. I am Dr. Alveda King, Director of African American Outreach with Priest for Life, and I truly stand with Priest for Life. And I'm so grateful to stand with all my colleagues today. And we're standing for something, a principle, not only a principle, but for our very lives. We live in America, and in America, we still have the freedom to worship freely and to speak our values and our religious principles freely, to still read our Bibles and to stand for the principles that are in the Bible. For many years, I have been tortured in America. I am a victim of carcinogenic birth control products. They are fertility blockers. When I took those products, including the IUD that was placed into my womb, the pills and the chemicals that manipulated my body to tell my body to be sick so that I could not conceive a child, I still suffer from some of those conditions. And believe me, that is torture. I am a co-claimant on the Priest for Life action. And so all of the exceptions or opportunities they say they are trying to give to us at Priest for Life so that we can still have our freedoms, but still to inflict this same torture on the wounds and the lives of women and the lives of little babies across this land, that is unacceptable to me. I felt powerless for a long time knowing what I had suffered and what thousands into the millions of women have suffered. Many of us uh, already have given our testimony in an amicus brief uh, when the question of Roe versus Wade has been before the Supreme Court. Carcinogenic birth control hurts women. Women seem not to understand that. I did not understand that for a long time. If the president, the administration, the courts, the legislature cares about women, they will not insist on giving us free so-called products that will further harm our lives and our bodies. I personally have been harmed. I know many women who have been harmed by carcinogenic fertility blockers called birth control. I was very distressed when I understood that Priest for Life might be forced to provide those same products to the women at Priest for Life that could expose us as women to strokes, to heart attacks, to cancer. Abortion and carcinogenic birth control are connected to these health issues. Carcinogenic birth control is not health care. It is death care. And to require that Priest for Life provide death care, or if we took an exception, and said to the insurance company, we don't agree with it, but the same insurance company would still provide that service, that is wrong. If America cares about women, America will not try to make women sick. If America cares about mothers, America will not help mothers to abort our children. I have been traumatized, I have been tortured and the relief comes when I lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh yes. my help, and my help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth, who makes mothers, fathers, babies, old people, sick people. We must care for the least of these. My grandfather, Dr. Martin Luther King, often talked about the least of these.
Jesus asked the question, where were you when I was hungry? Where were you when I was thirsty? Where were you when I was in prison? I guess if Jesus were standing right here, and believe me, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe that he is, but he might say, where were you when the women were suffering with breast cancer, with strokes, with heart attacks? Where were you when the babies were being ripped apart in the wombs uh, of their mothers? So, I stand with Priests for Life. We ask you to stand with us. Hobby Lobby has been put to the forefront on the business side, on the for-profit side. Priests for Life now is thrust into a similar position for the nonprofits. We stand for women, for mothers, for fathers, for babies. We stand for a nation that is in trouble. And if we don't come back to God, God help us. I do say God bless America, but I ask God to forgive America. And again, I thank you. I stand with priest for life. God bless you.